Yes, good evening. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the instant match reaction, if you're enjoying the content, you know what to do. Go down, as it says on the screen, smash a like on the video. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're under 500 subs from 19k. Big up to every single person in the chat for the watch along, unreal watch along. Um, but we need to talk about it. Tottenham 2, Everton 1. A game of two halves. Let's talk about it because we've got lots of talking points. Romero's injury, Everton's chances. Apologies if you hear the occasional sniff. I have got the flu and I feel like garbage. Um, but we're still here. Still got a content to provide to you guys. So big up to every single person in who's in the chat and who's going to be watching this. But it was 2-1 um, in a game that I feel I'm, I'm coming away from that feeling we were quite lucky. Um, we're going to get into it. The lineup is as was on screen. Vicario, Poro, Royale, left back, Romero, Davis. And now Romero went off injured. Sart, skip in a double pivot. And then the three attacking midfielders, one out on the right, Johnson, Son out on the left, Kulu in the 10, and Richie up front. We started the game absolutely electric. For the first 20 minutes, we were... Uh, probably the best 20 minutes of football I've seen us play in, in, in the last few weeks, at least. We were very, 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 very good. Um, we've lost one, only one of our last 21 matches against Everton, which is absolutely insane. Um, but the first minute, um, we, we, we had a great chance. Kulu got the ball through. Um, Saar makes a late run. We scored in the first 10 minutes. Um, Poro plays a good pass down to Johnson. Johnson whips it into the middle of the box. Um, Richarlison gets on the goal. Um, and that was Richarlison's uh, first goal of the game, or only goal of the game. Johnson's first assist. He got two. Um, he plays a low time, first time cross to the near post, and Richarlison runs, kind of runs onto it, taps it in the near post. Great start to the game. Everton probably would, would we, we looked a bit nervous first few minutes. Um, Everton were trying to fight back into the game. Great save from Vicario. Malenko finds kind of got down the left-hand side and put a ball. I think it was Calvert-Lewin um, made a run. And Big Vic makes a great save. We then go 2 new up. Poro takes a short corner. Um, Johnson plays a 1-2 with Kulu. Johnson had the shot towards Pickford. Great strike. And then the ball rolls out to Son. Then he kind of swivels on the half volley and, and, and taps it into an empty net. 2 nil. And at that point, I'm like, fantastic. This Everton side, let's not let's not beat around the bush. This Everton side were in form, right? Um, they admittedly they played 90 minutes plus penalties against Fulham in the week, but in the last four games, uh, they beat Burnley away, uh, they beat Chelsea at home, they beat Newcastle at home, and they beat Forest away. Four clean sheets on the bounce. Um, before that, they beat uh Crystal Palace um 3-2 at um at Selhurst Park. They um they um, then before that, I think they got yeah. The first the first twenty minutes, we were absolutely cooking. Um, some of the best football I've seen us play, and it's Everton side were in form. One one draw against Brighton, beating Palace, beating Forest, beating Newcastle, beating Chelsea, beating Burnley. Only going out to Everton to a, uh, to a Fulham side that were in form on a penalty shootout. And after that twenty minutes, I'm like, right, fantastic, great start, two new up, and then from then it was a bit like. It was kind of like we just took our foot completely off the gas and just went like whew, like that a little bit. Um, you know, from from then, kind of Everton grew into the game a little bit after that. You know, I think Adrisa Garner Gay got injured. I think he um, tackling. I think it was was it Johnson. Uh, he got yellow carded, and then he went off. And Gomez come on, and then the only other highlight was it was a good uh, go Gomez. Played Dan Harrison, who got through, and Big Vic makes a great save. We get into half time. We're in control, you know, of that game completely. You know, two new up. You can't ask for much more in the first half. The last 15 minutes of that first half, Everton had a few chances. So I thought to myself, you know, get through the next 15 minutes. That's going to be very, very important. Now, the big talking point of the game is. Romero went off at half time and then the camera zoomed into him um, and he had a nice pack on his hamstring, which does not look good. He probably will be will get will get a scan um, 
you know, towards the end of the end of, you know, this week, probably before, maybe before Christmas, but that does not look good. Dyer come in. And at first I was like, yeah, a hundred percent we're conceding. Um, Calvin Lewin, you know, pulled one back in the 51st minute. Um, now I personally feel it was a foul on Emerson Royale. He's holding the ball player off like that. Gomez. Um, was it Gomez? It might've been Gomez. And then he, I think it is Gomez and Gomez puts his hand on the back and pushes down Royale. And he, um, he gets fouled. Gomez then um, plays a ball into Calvert-Lewin and it's a fantastic finish from Calvert-Lewin. It really is a great finish. You can't really argue that finish. Um, and then it gets ruled out for VAR. Um, a few minutes later, Kulazewski sweeps out Johnson on the right. His first time across his block, coming straight back to him. Passes to Saar on the edge. Saar whips it straight at Pickford. Good strike, but unfortunately straight at Pickford. We then took Richarlison off, brought on Hoiberg. Uh, Dan Juma come on for Everton. He was very, very lively. We brought on Giovanni Celso for Saar. Um, and then the last 15 minutes, Everton really grew into the game. Yeah, they really, 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 really grew into the game. And it was, apologies, I keep sniffing, I've got a flu. Um, he, they really grew into the game. They had a lot of chances. At one point, I was like, Everton are going to get something out of this. I was really, really um, concerned. And I, it was kind of, it kind of felt like the, the game against the Wolves the last 15 minutes. We were happy to just sit back, defend, and try and break for, for Everton's midfield. Andre Gomez then scored in the 82nd minute. Um, McNe McNeil's del delivery from the corner caused all sorts of problems in the middle. And then the, it gets, I think it got cleared from Dyer. Onana runs onto it and just basically buries it in, in Vicario's bottom right corner. Um, great strike. Can't really do too much about the strike. Completely, as a, it's a goal that should have been completely dealt with, though. We, we, we conceded from a corner for the first time this season. Um, I don't think that that should have gone in, in my opinion. I don't think it was, um, it was worth, you know, it, it was worth, like it was a poor goal to concede. It wasn't exactly fantastic play. Everton didn't really like it wasn't a well drilled goal. It was just poor defending. And then the last 10 minutes, Everton were all over us. You know, Son had a good chance. Um, he had his hands on his head. Um, Everton had all the momentum the last kind of five, 10 minutes. Um, you know, I was I was I was coming into that, you know, the last 10 minutes, I was, you know, we were all sitting there, everyone during the watch song was just like and we're going to get through this. And then at the death, in the 96th minute, or 93rd minute, a long ball goes into Dan Juma. He takes the touch down on his, I think it was his left left foot strike straight at goal, hits the crossbar, goes down onto the line, hits Vicario's right shin, kind of right place, right positioning for Vicario, and somehow stays out. Now, if, I was an, if I'm an Everton fan, if I was an Everton fan, I would have been fuming at that result because all jokes aside, like I know we tried to call it as we see it on this channel, but Everton were were probably will feel hard done by it. And in that second half, we were very lucky. Let's not beat around the bush here, right? We were very lucky, in my opinion. Um, I don't. I I look at that game and just feel like we won the game, and we were very 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 good in the first kind of 20, 30 minutes, but. We were a little bit complacent. We allowed Everton back into the game. Everton had chances. When you look at the match stats, Everton beat us on, <clears throat> excuse me, beat us on goals. Uh, sorry, beat us on shots, shots on target, beat us on corners, beat us on, um, you know, I think they had more a higher expected goal than us. We had 61% possession. At one point, that was at 75, 76%. Um, um, I, I, I'll be honest. Um, Everton were hard done by that game, in my opinion. They they probably will feel that as well. On us, though, the positives: three points. Um, we there's three wins on the bounce now, beating um Forest, Newcastle, and Everton. We've got winnable games coming up. Um, in my opinion, lots of winnable games. Yeah, lots of winnable games. We've got. You know, Brighton coming up on Thursday night, and we've also got Bournemouth uh, next Sunday 
And, you know, we're fourth in the league. We're in a good position. Two more games to get through. And then the January transfer window is here. Um, my main concern is coming out of that game is if Romero is injured. I'll be completely honest. I, I, I don't know how I feel about going into... Um, I'll be real. I don't feel. I don't know how I feel about going into Everton or not Everton. Sorry, Brighton and um, Brighton and Bournemouth with Davis and Dyer as our centre backs. Um, I don't know what you guys feel. If you if you feel it's it's going to be a tough ask to do, I I feel it will be personally. Um, but yeah, look, it's three points. We're we're in a great spot. We're fourth in the league, two points off of Liverpool. Three points off of Arsenal. Obviously, they play each other very, very soon. One point off, uh, three points off of Villa. Um, it's three games on the bounce, three wins. We now just need to keep this going. Keep this momentum going. You know, it's a, it's a scrappy win. It's an ugly win. But, you know, it is what it is. We got the three points. We were excellent first 20 minutes. Everton probably will feel hard done by. But we move. Um, another VAR talking point in that game. I just feel now we just need to keep this going. Go and beat Brighton. Go and beat Bournemouth. Check off 2024 with five wins on the bounce. Get into the January transfer window. Go and bring in a few players. Go and bring in, you know, Tadebo. Go and bring in the Dr Draguskin, whichever centre-back we prefer to sign out of the two. Go and bring in Jota, potentially on a free, or um, bring in a striker. And then just keep this going. You know, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. I think top four is between us and Aston Villa. I think Arsenal, Liverpool, and Man City, you can put those teams in anywhere at the moment in, in first or third, and it won't look stupid. Obviously, we hope the Gooners don't win the league, but I, think, I still think City will. But right now, I think we, we just need to keep this going. You know, it's a scrappy win today, not our best performance overall complete from the full 90 minutes, but, you know, I feel that we're, we're in a good spot. I feel Ange is the right manager. Um, to take us back to back to silverware, which we haven't seen in so long. Um, you know, if you look at our next, like if you actually look at the, our next kind of five games, I fancy us in every single game. Brighton's going to be tough. And if we haven't got a Rome Romero in there, it's going to be tough. But I still think we can beat them without Romero. But it will be a lot tougher. Bournemouth, obviously Solanke got a hat-trick today. And they're on, I think they're on very, very, very good form. Um, well, he's on unbelievable form. And then we got Burnley in the FA Cup. We should be winning all three of those. Man United, if Eric 10 games is still there, then we can, we can go and beat them. It's as simple as that. We can go and beat Man United at Old Trafford. I believe we will. And then Brentford, I think we win as well. And in between Man United and Brentford, there will be an FA Cup game. But look, um, you, we, we just need to keep this momentum going, guys. I don't know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you haven't already. Make sure you are smashing the likes on the video. Um, hopefully, there's a few quotes that have come out from Postacoglu that we can quickly grab through. Uh, get through. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Posta Coglu and Romero, he felt tightness in his hamstring just before half time, so we had to take him off. So it, it, it doesn't, I don't think it's going to be a proper in, like an injury. I think it's just more of a caution, um, precautionary, just to kind of prevent that injury from happening. Um, he did go down, I think, on the 25th minute, holding his hamstring, but I'm glad, I'm glad he went off because we, we need him, especially with no fan of any either. Um, Vicario, by the way, was was unreal today. We need to, we need to speak on him. Seventeen million pounds. Um, like, yeah, the guy's unreal. Um, this this is a this is a fair good point from the Spurs Express. Um, I think this is pretty much bang on. That was a performance to forget for Tottenham Hotspur, but a massive three points, which means Spurs will spend Christmas in the Champions League places. Yeah, I agree. We were we were lucky today. Let's let's be honest. Let's call it as it is. We got lucky today. But with all that being said, three points is three points. Um, good teams win when they're not at their best. And today we weren't at our best. But, um, you know, we move now. And now we just need to keep it going. Hopefully Arsenal and Liverpool get a draw so we can kind of stay in touching distance of both of those teams. And then we just, we just need to keep it going. But we have to bring in three or four players in January. We have to. We absolutely have to. Um, let me know your thoughts down below uh, on the topics. You know, I think that I think that comment from Spurs Express is, is very, very fair. I don't think it's it's I don't think it's it's not true. I think it's fair. Um, but look, we are gonna wrap up. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. See you all soon, people. I am out of